Hi, Brenda. Hopefully, most of you can hear me. Nice to know, John. Brenda.
So there's no great sophistication about this sequence. West is simply with three hearts just showing um, a distributional hand that's effectively almost worth an invitation um, just based on shape and playing strength. Uh, it's not forcing at all so East can quite happily pass three hearts but West has the kind of hand where um, even if East has a small doubleton in hearts it's clear where the outstanding heart honours are going to be so playing the heart suit should present no problems and West is saying that they do obviously have some strength elsewhere but there is no chance to show a two suited hand here it's better just to show the hearts any questions? You're all very quiet. I get the impression that you've all dropped off to sleep here. Maybe I should play some Led Zeppelin or something. Yeah, John, I didn't like to say that, but... Uh... <laughs> Can nobody take... No, you don't have to play strong NT. Um, indeed, I, I think most of my Wondo Trump examples here are actually about a 15 count. Um, I said 15 to 17 there. Um, obviously, it does affect your estimation what strength no trump you're playing it does affect your estimation of whether you have invitational values but uh, um, so I, I mean if, if east west were playing a 13 to 15 one no trump west could still potentially bid three hearts based on shape but again they have no clear idea how well the hands are fitting so it's a very general invitation um, but uh, East doesn't necessarily have an ideal hand here. Um, they could potentially lose two or three quick tricks in clubs, for example. Uh, a spade lead might give them problems. As it turns out, on balance, this is going to work well. But, uh, like I said, you, you can't get into any sophisticated bidding here. Um, over three hearts East is just going to decide on the basis of their heart support and how much they like their hand if they decide to pass three hearts then that's fine Yeah, intro, one of the reasons I really like intro and a lot of um, a lot of the one no trump doubled wriggles that are out there um, have this as a fairly common theme that passes two way. It can either be strong um, wanting to play in one no trump redoubled or some weak variety. Um, Intro seems by far the best thought out of all these alternatives, but uh, like I said at the start, if you find another one that you like, uh, then that's fine. The main thing is to have something available. Yeah, go on, Barry.
No, redouble is forced, absolutely. You don't, it, it doesn't matter. Um, like I said, other, other one no Trump run outs um, have a different policy on this. But uh, um, ideally, the ideal thing is for us to play in one no Trump redoubled if responders got enough high card points. Um, uh, and it would be a shame for somebody to make an ill-advised penalty double of one no Trump, find responder with a 12 count opposite a 13 to 15 one no Trump, and for us not to have the option of playing in one no Trump redoubled just because... Uh, Opener's got a five card suit and doesn't fancy it. Um, we, we don't want to be in that position. Uh, if we can make one no Trump, well, I would shoot him. Or certainly, you know, I, I mean, that's, that's why uh, it doesn't make any difference. It forces a redouble and responder. This is, intro is all about responders holding. When we get to pesky later on, it's all about openers holding. And that's because um, responder is second, hand, second in hand over an immediate double by the one no trump opener's left-hand opponent. But over a fourth in hand double, it's opener who's second in hand. So intro is all about responders holding and responder is, is essentially in control of the hand from that point. Whereas over a fourth in hand double, we turn it around and Pesky is thinking totally about opener's holdings. But as you'll see when we get to, to Pesky later on, it's very, very similar to intro um, and, and complements intro easily. And it's easy to remember if you know intro. But uh, no, um, opener doesn't bid a five card suit just because they've got one. Um, if, if responder passed over the double. Um, the, the pass is a, a demand that opener redoubles and responder will then run if he's got a weak hand, 4-4-3-2. Four, four, okay, so, so pass forces a redouble and responder will then decide to pass or... Um, will start bidding if they have a weak 4432 that wants to run from one no trump redoubled. But opener doesn't have the option of not redoubling unless uh, ops bid something over the pass by responder. So if fourth in hand bids, in other words, if they blink and bid, then opener automatically passes. So if it goes... One no trump, double, pass, alerted, forcing a redouble. And fourth in hand then bids something. Opener automatically passes because partner may have nothing. So opener automatically passes. And now um, if responder had a hand that wanted to play in one no trump redoubled, then they'll either bid or um, uh, maybe suggest a penalty um, or just let ops play the hand. Um, but normally, if you're, if you think we can make one no trump redoubled, um, the idea is that we don't really want ops to play um, in a part score undoubled. But it's not a suicide pact. This uh, they may be able to make their two-level contract. If we've got nothing better to suggest our way, um, then sometimes it's best just to. Uh, if you fix, just to be fixed and stay fixed and let them play. If you can take them off, that's great, but maybe you can't afford to double a two-level contract by them. Okay, does that answer your question, Barry? Yeah, uh, 
as I've said there, it's not unknown for the bidding to go one no trump, double penalties, pass, forcing a redouble, pass, redouble by the one no trump bidder, pass, pass, even with a fairly weak hand, and fourth in hand now bid something because they they're not sure about their system and uh, think oh he's passed that for for money and therefore they run because they can't afford uh, that one no trump redouble might be making because it's a game um, like I said there's a lot of psychology in, in a lot of these run out systems and intro is no uh, different However, if you if you pass the redouble um, with a with a a five count and you end up going for eleven hundred or something, um, then be prepared to uh, be shouted at in the post mortem. Um, it's not normal. Uh, so normally, if you've got a weak hand, you just run over the redouble, and that's much better for partnership confidence. The whole idea of this is not. It's not poker, this. Uh, it's all about not playing in one no trump doubled. Uh, we're either playing something else or we're playing one no trump redoubled or we persuade ops to bid something. So this process of bidding four card suits upwards is called wriggling. Um, and you'll see a little bit, quite a lot of wriggling tonight. Um, safest thing is as soon as you know that you're in at least a, a seven card trump fit, you pass. There are some exceptions to that, which, which I will show you, um, where you can afford to keep on looking. Um, but uh, normally, if you, if you find a 4-3 fit, just be happy with that because you're not guaranteed to find a 4-4 four, four fit, obviously. Um, there will be times when a 4-3 fit is the best that you can get to. So generally, it's safer to accept a 4-3 fit at the 2 level than to risk uh, carrying on bidding and then actually have to play in the same 4-3 fit at the 3 level. You might get away undoubled at the two level, but you're unlikely to get away undoubled at the three level. <coughs> so here's one of these occasions where... Um, if it's gone one no trump double pass pass redouble pass and responder bids two hearts now then clearly their two four card suits are hearts and spades so if responders sorry if openers got three card hearts and four card spades they're quite happily going to bid two spades knowing that it's a better fit
So here, um, South bids over the redouble. South bids their cheapest four-card suit. And yes, they've got a, an eight-card spade fit, but it's not worth going looking for it because there's no guarantee that it will be there. Um, and uh, if North bids two spades, the chances are that they'll end up playing something at the three level. Um, so if you find a 4-3 fit, just accept it and play there. The idea is, like I said before, is not to play in one no trump doubled. And here it's all just about wriggling out into something else. If we've got a majority of the trumps, then that's good enough. And if we find an 8-card fit or even a 9-card fit, then fine. Even better. No, John. Responder passes asking partner, i.e. the one no trump bidder, to redouble. And then and then and then responder either passes the redouble if they want to play in one no trump redoubled or they blink and and bid a suit if they've got a weak hand with four four three two distribution. Okay. Ah right, okay, yeah. Four four three 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 is different. We'll come to that in a minute. So this is another instance where you can be fairly sure of getting to a, a 4 4 fit. Um, if, uh, so here, Responder has, has not passed the redouble and they bid two diamonds. Yeah, but the trouble is, um, Douglas, that the only thing that, that North can bid over two clubs is two spades. And if it turns out that South's got a doubleton spade, you've given up the opportunity to play in two clubs, and you're now going to play in something else at the three level. Or you're going to play in a 4-2 fit, which is not good policy. Burns law applies here. So like I said, if you if you want to do something different, be my guest. But basically if you find a four three fit, just absolutely right. Yeah. If you bid if North bids two diamonds, he's showing a four card suit, so now you're risking playing in a three three fit. Um again, not good policy. Uh so just accept a 4-3 fit if you find it, is my recommendation. And if you can find a 4-4 fit, then so much the better. So, again, in that example I've just given in the text, if Responder blinks and over the redouble and bids two diamonds, they've got two four-card suits here because this sequence is for 4-4-3 two hands with Responder. So if, if they don't have clubs and they do have diamonds, they must have at least one four-card major. So it's perfectly okay for North to bid two hearts over two diamonds if they're 4-4 four, four in the majors. And knowing that Respond will either pass two hearts or they'll bid two spades. But again, if, they, if they've got um, four diamonds, three hearts and four spades, they'll pass two hearts. So you're never absolutely guaranteed to play in a 4-4 fit, but there are some times when it's, it's easier to, to diagnose that there is one available.
So earlier we showed we showed responder immediately making a, a jump bit at the three level with a, a distributional hand worth an invitation. So there they're bidding their suit immediately over the double. This one is slightly different. We're going through the pass redouble sequence and then responder is jumping to the their cheapest five card suit. I wouldn't do this with less than five five. Um I wouldn't do it on five four hands. Uh you're basing this basically on shape and playing strength. Um <coughs> and uh you're much more likely to have that playing strength if you keep it to five fives. Because again, it's not likely, you're not often going to have game values when somebody's made a penalty double of partners one no trump. It isn't going to happen. Um, I won't say never, but it's, it's not likely. The fact is, most of the time, if you, if you have a hand worth game, it's on shape. And, and reasonable values near a, a genuine invitation, but shape rather than um, high card points are going to be what makes the tell. So I wouldn't do it with 5-4 generally. I would keep it to 5-5, five, five, and now it's very unlikely that you're not going to get to a decent 8 or 9 card fit in, in whichever trump suit um, you end up playing in. And, and essentially, the same applies if you jump to the three level as if you bid at the two level. There are times when partner, when opener, will know that there's a better trump fit in a major available. Um, uh, you know, if you, if you end up jumping to three hearts over the redouble, then you've obviously 5-5 five, five in the majors. And... and opener can can just decide where to play knowing that you've got both majors similarly if responder bids three diamonds then they must have at least one major so if opener is 4-4 in the majors uh, they can afford to to bid three hearts and and um, responder will now then bid four hearts or bid three spades to show them at spades. Yes, Naomi? Okay. All right. Um, just hang on a second, please. Naomi, just leave my light off if you like. Okay. Love you. That's Naomi off to bed. Again, if you're going to play Oliver's Twist over these jumps to the three level, um, uh, you need to agree. Absolutely, Eliana. That's, that's absolutely the fundamental purpose behind intro. We never play in one no trump doubled because it's an anti-percentage spot to play. If you make it, it's still a part score, one no trump doubled. Um, and so you're only going to get a res good result if you get about two or three over tricks. Um, and, and that makes up for not being in game. But uh, one no trump redoubled is a game. So we play in one no trump redoubled when we think we can make it. And if we don't think we can make one no trump redoubled, then we play in something else or we persuade ops to bid and play something. And we don't mind them making a part score. We just don't want to be going off eight or 1100 in one no trump doubled. So if they blink and bid or bid to game even, it's probably cheaper than, than us going three or four off in one no trump doubled if responders got nothing. Okay. 
the only time before before I came up with Pesky, which I'll, I'll explain to you later on, the only time we played in one no trump doubled potentially was over a fourth in hand double, where um, opener's going to pass almost automatically unless they have a five card suit, and uh, responder may have a hand that's happy to play in one no trump redoubled but they can't redouble here because it's a it's a um, it's a an SOS redouble it's asking opener to start bidding something okay but like I said pesky solves that problem so we'll come to that a bit later on So if, you're, if you decide to use Oliver's twist, um, now this time respond, responders bid three clubs over the redouble. So this is an invitational 5-5 five, five hand. So if, if responder, sorry, if opener doesn't like clubs, um, but isn't interested in playing in game if responders got both minors they bid three diamonds and now responder will bid their second suit and uh, oh, they can pass that or bid game but if responders got both minors they would pass three diamonds But if in that sequence, over three clubs, um, opener bids three spades, that's saying, OK, if you've got a black two suitor, I'd rather play in three spades than three clubs, but I've no interest in playing in game in either black suit. But I do have game interest if your second suit is a red suit. In other words, I'm probably 4-4 four, four in the reds. Um, and because I bypass the red suits, um, so I'm quite happy to play in four hearts or five diamonds, but I don't want to play in game if you've got clubs and spades, but I'd rather play in spades than clubs. Okay, so you can see, hopefully, how Oliver's twist can be used in this kind of a situation, but you need to agree to play it, otherwise... You, you get to complete chaos. You can't play Oliver's Twist unless you and partner are on exactly the right, the same wavelength. Uh, it's very important to understand that. Okay, any questions about uh, the pass over the double being either strong, or not strong, but a hand that wants to play in one no trump redoubled, or a weak hand with exactly any 4432 distribution. It's got to be 4432. Um, we wouldn't do this with 4333. We wouldn't do it with 54. It's only with 44 that we, we use this pass redouble sequence. Any questions? Have you all taken Valium tonight? It's like I'm in a crypt, and all I've got, all I've got next to me is a few corpses. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, come on, Shell. Can't be that bad. Okay, so the last option for intro and modified intro is if responder redoubles over the double. So it's, it goes one no trump, double, redouble. Okay, there are no 
initially at any rate, there are no weak options, sorry, no strong options for the redouble. The redouble is showing either um, a weakish hand, almost always weakish hand, with 4333 distribution or 4441. So you're either, you've either got a flat hand or a three suited 4441 hand, not 4432. So the redouble, whereas, whereas the double, um, sorry, the pass asking opener to redouble, if we end up blinking and bidding, it's responder who starts bidding because they've got the two suitor, they've got the 4432 hand. When they redouble, they're effectively asking opener to start bidding because they've either got a three suited hand or they've only got one four card suit, they're 4333. Um, and either way, uh, responder will bid, sorry, opener will bid their cheapest four card suit. And, sorry, opener will bid their cheapest four card suit and responder will pass if they're 4333 because we found a seven card trump fit. And they'll pass if they've got 4441 and opener has bid one of their four card suits. If openers hit their singleton and they've got 4441, then they simply bid the next suit up. And now their distribution is an open book and opener can pick which suit to play in because they know where responder singleton is. What's that, Roger? Ra ra noise. I don't understand. Okay. Um. All oh, right, okay. It is quiet. Whenever I ask you if you've got any questions, nobody says anything. <laughs> so the redouble just tells opener to start bidding upwards. Um, and if you're playing normal intro, then we stop as soon as we find a 4-3 fit, as with the 4-4-3-2 four, four, hands. Um... We aren't guaranteed to find a 4 4 fit, so we stop as soon as we find 4 3. So if responder has 4 3 3 3, they pass whatever opener bids. They don't go looking for um, gold at the end of the rainbow. If they find a 4 3 fit, they pass. If they've got 4 4 4 1 and opener bids their singleton, they simply bid the next suit up. That tells opener that they've got 4 4 4 1 and they've hit responders opener's first bid hit uh, responder singleton and uh, so responder bids the next suit up and opener just passes or bids another suit because they know exactly where responders four card suits are there is one rider to all this I'm just about to come to that, Barry. Um, yes, we do have a problem. Uh, but it's only really a problem when uh, Responder has 1444 with a singleton spade. Because if their singleton is anywhere else, then... Uh, we know we can get to a 4-3 fit, at least, at the 2 level. But if if Responder has a singleton spade, and they redouble, and Opener's got 4-3-3-3 with 4-card spades, then Opener's going to bid 2 spades over the redouble, 
and now we end up having to play at the three level. So the recommendation is actually if you have 1444 with um, a singleton spade, you treat it as a 4432 hand and pass over the double. So now, opener will redouble, and now you bid two clubs. And um, if if opener is four three 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 with four card spades, um, they're going to pass. If you've hit a doubleton in partner suit, they're going to bid another four card suit. Um, and it won't be that their cheapest four card suit is spades. It can't happen. Okay. Um, so, so that's the recommendation. If you have one four 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 with a singleton spade, treat it like a four four three two hand, and that way we're guaranteed uh, at least a four three fit at the two level. Okay. I do come to that in a minute, actually, but. Okay, so that, in text, um, for the record, answers what you were asking, Barry. Um, so if you're if you're four 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 one with a singleton spade, treat it as a two suited hand rather than a three suited hand, and that's safer. But if you've got a singleton heart or a singleton anywhere else, just redouble as per normal intro, because if you if you think about it, it will always work out. Um, if partners, if partners four three 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 with a singleton, sorry, with a four card heart suit, and you redouble, they're going to bid two hearts, and you're bidding two spades, and they will pass. As long as we can play at the two level, it's good enough. Okay, so invitational 4333 hands don't enter into this. If you had an invitational balance flat hand, you're going to pass, force partner to redouble, and then pass the double. If you've got a hand worth an invitation, you're not really worried about one no trump going off. Um, so it's only the invitational 4441 hands that come into what I'm saying here. So if you have an invitational three-suited hand, excuse me a second. If you've got an invitational three-suited 4441 hand um, and you don't fancy playing in one no trump redoubled, um, you might even be 445 naught, I suppose, but... Um, now you've got a five card suit and could potentially treat it as as um, one or two suited but so here if if 
opener bids one of your four card suits, you can raise it, and that's just a natural invitational raise. So you're now no longer rescuing opener, um, but you found a 4-4 four, 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 a four, four fit. Um, if partner hits your singleton, you would bid two no trumps. Um, but these sequences really are quite rare, and, I'll, and they should be, because 4-4-4-1 four, 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 hands don't have a lot of playing strength. Um, and uh, as I said before, it's going to be quite rare that your, you and your partner between you have genuine game values um, when they've made a penalty double of your one no trump, whatever strength your one no trump is. I won't say it never happens, but, but it won't be often. And whereas a 5-5 five, five hand or a hand with a six card uh, or longer suit, single suit, uh, will have some playing strength there potentially, 4-4-4-1 four, 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 hands don't normally have a lot of playing strength. So here, the, the, other, the other option you have is supposing over your redouble, partner bids two clubs. Um, instead of bidding three clubs, you could bid two hearts rather than two diamonds. You're not bidding the next suit up, so it's not the weak 4-4-4-1 four, 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 hand. Um, and uh, so if you, if you skip a suit... You're showing a singleton in the next suit up, but an invitational hand otherwise. So here you would be an invitational 4-4-1-4 four, four, four with a singleton diamond. So here, over two clubs, the redouble is is weak with 4-3-3-3 or 4 4, four, four one, ostensibly. Opener bids two clubs, so they've got four card or longer clubs. So now two diamonds simply shows a weak 4-4-4-1 four, 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 with a singleton club. If responder bids two hearts, though, this is showing an invitational 4-4-4-1 four, 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 with a singleton diamond. So you're not saying I haven't got four card clubs, you're saying I have got singles and diamonds and I've got four cards in both majors um, and an invitation. And again, whatever opener decides to, to play over that two heart bid is fine. They, they know Responder's exact distribution, they know he's got a hand worth an invitation um, and can decide exactly where to play and which suit to play in. So the only suit we're not going to play in is diamonds. Um, opener might have five card clubs and find that, that playing in three clubs is enough. Um, they might have wasted values in diamonds. Uh, but they can place, they can place uh, the contract with a fair degree of reliability now. So again, if opener bids two hearts or two spades over the redouble, um, then then bid two no trumps if if you've got a four 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 one, and openers hit your singleton. Um, and again, opener might pass two no trumps. They might bid three no trumps. They might. Um, 
they might even end up playing in a, a three level minor if they don't fancy three no trumps or even two no trumps but two no trumps ought to be okay if you've got an invitational hand um, you should be able to afford to play in two no trumps any questions Um, the only weak point in the system is what I've just addressed with the creation of this system called Pesky, which I'm going to come to a little bit later on. Um, the weak point, if you like, is that, is that intro only applies over second-in-hand doubles. In other words, a double by opener's left-hand opponent. It doesn't, intro doesn't work when it goes one no trump pass pass double that's that's intro's weak point and that's why i've created pesky which i said i'll i'll come to in a few minutes i need to explain intro first fully which i have now done um though because pesky works in a very similar way to to intro Okay, so here we've got a, another 13 to 15 one no trump. Forget about the vulnerability. Um, uh, one no trump from south. Thanks for that, Roger. Okay, so here, um, in practice, North South are going to make five clubs. Um, opposite a 13 to 15 one, no Trump, I guess North is unlikely to pursue that um, but if South won no Trump was 15 to 17 they might they might well so actually hang on let's change this to a 15 to 17 because it's more interesting so here um, if if North bid three clubs, then um, then that would just be agreeing clubs basically, and uh, showing an invitational four four one four hand. But it doesn't really help South because they've not shown where their singleton is whereas if north here bids they've obviously gone just beyond their singleton so this is showing a singleton heart they can't bid two diamonds um, because uh, that would just be weak with a singleton club but anything else is is showing an invitational 4441 hand so 
apart from two diamonds, you're going to bid the cheapest four-card suit that you can over two diamonds. So if, if North bids two spades here, they're showing a singleton heart and an invitational hand with 4144 four, four distribution. No, I mean, you wouldn't use two no trumps here, Terry. Um, if if South bid two spades or two hearts over the redouble, then two no trumps would simply be showing a singleton in whichever major opener bid. But where opener bids a minor over the redouble, we don't need to do that. Um, said two spades is clearly showing a singleton heart here. They're bidding the cheapest suit they can over their over their singleton. Um, and South can pass two spades. They can bid three clubs if if they haven't got four card spades um, because they know that that. North has got four card clubs. Sorry, who is f one responder is one four 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 with a singleton spade, you mean? Right, well now now they might bid three clubs. They could bid three clubs. They could bid two no trumps. I, I mean, there's nothing to say they can't bid two no trumps, but two no trumps would two 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 no trumps would would tend to suggest um, that you've got a singleton club, not a singleton spade. I mean, two no trumps essentially is natural. So you, you would normally only bid two no trumps when when opener has hit your singleton. This is dealing with, and you've got an invitational hand. If you've got a weak hand and opener hits your singleton, you just bid the next suit up, and that's always weak. It's when you start bidding another suit and skipping out the relay in the next suit. <coughs> But it's always fairly obvious what your, it should be fairly obvious to opener what your hand is because you're always going to bid the cheapest suit above your singleton that you can. So here, North could bid, they can't bid two diamonds, they can't bid two hearts because that's their singleton, so they bid two spades. But give, give North... Um, say a singleton spade three card four card hearts four card diamonds four card clubs now they could bid three clubs and there's nothing to stop you know opener sorry opener can pass three clubs but there's nothing to stop them looking for a fit in a red suit in hearts particularly or spades knowing that they can escape to four clubs because as soon as north bids three clubs over two clubs we know we got a fit. We know North's got an invitational hand. So we're okay to escape to four clubs so we can afford to, to explore a bit at the three level. Okay? Sorry, just bear with me a minute. Okay, any questions about intro or modified intro? 
the, the modified intro side is all just the invitational bits. It's just adding the invitational possibilities rather than the weak ones. So it's the jumps to the three level and raising suits or bidding new suits that aren't the relay over the redouble and a bid by opener. Anybody got any questions? Okay, a few general points and then we'll move on to pesky. So if you want, as I said, you can cherry pick all of these. You don't have to play all the modifications to intro. You could include the invitational single suitors and the invitational two suitors and forget about the invitational three suitors if you want. It's no problem. Um, the thing to bear in mind here is that is that you're trying to get to game normally based on shape and playing strength rather than high card points because um, if ops aren't completely suicidal it's unlikely that you're going to have genuine game values when they've made a penalty double of your one no trump. It won't normally happen. Having said that, some ops are suicidal, so it will happen occasionally. Okay, so, so Levin competition may occasionally apply, but um, I don't think it's not normal. Yeah, go on, Terry. No, it's not a penalty double. As I said right at the start, Terry, um, if it's, if it's a, a single suited double, as in don't or brosel, um, or a two suited double, as in suction, then, then intro doesn't apply. Intro only applies over a penalty double. I did make a few comments back at the start. That's okay. I, I did make a few comments back at the start to the effect that if if we have a don't or brosel style double by second in hand and responder is really weak, in other words there's a, a real danger that fourth in hand will pass the double for penalties rather than bidding two clubs as a relay or using Oliver's twist or whatever agreements they have if there's a, a good chance that they're going to do it, then um, North may want to run first rather than potentially allowing the, uh, the double just to be passed back to opener. Because, because if, it's, if it's a don't style double, it's not a penalty double. So all the intro pass redouble bits don't apply. Okay, intro only applies over a penalty double. Okay. So so you have to you have to potentially run early. But if you've got if you've got a hand where you're not seriously worried about um the double being passed for penalties then um responder can normally afford just to pass over the double because nine times out of ten their left hand opponent will bid the relay to find out where partner's single suit is because they won't have enough high card strength themselves to risk passing it for penalties when you might be sat there with a reasonable hand 
because they're not playing a penalty double. They're playing Don't or Brozel or whatever. Okay. So I mentioned Oliver's twist earlier in the session. Um, if you're not familiar with that, most people here hopefully will be. It's the idea when partners shown an unidentified single suitor or two suitor by bidding one of the suits, or where they've made something like a double or, or something that shows a single suitor but they haven't actually said where the suit is, The idea of Oliver's twist, and it's the, this Oliver's twist is essentially the way that multi two diamonds, the responses to multi two diamonds works. That over a multi two diamonds, um, responder bids two hearts if they want to play in hearts, if it's hearts, <coughs> and they don't have any game interest. But if they bid two spades, then it shows that they've got game interest in hearts but not in spades and if they bid two no trumps they've got game interest in either major so that's the way the responses to multi two diamonds works and essentially Oliver's twist works in exactly the same way as I've said there you bid the cheapest suit that you wouldn't support at a higher level so I've shown an example there so if partners bid two clubs showing clubs and another suit we can pass two clubs if we're happy to play in clubs and no game interest anywhere. So now if over two clubs we bid two diamonds, we're showing no game interest in diamonds, but we might have interest if partners got a major rather than both minors. So we're saying, if you've got both minors, I'd rather play in diamonds than clubs. And if you've got clubs and a major, I might come to life if you show your major. Because one thing's for sure, if you've got 5-5 five five with clubs and a major, you won't be wanting to play in diamonds. And again, if you bid two hearts, you show game interest in diamonds, but not in hearts. So this is saying, if you've got both minors, I'm interested in, in game in diamonds. And if you've got clubs and spades, I may or may not be interested. I haven't said anything about spades because I haven't reached spades. I haven't bypassed it. You're just showing game interest in anything that you bypass, but you're not showing game interest in whatever you bid. So again, if partner bids a don't double, normally you would just bid two clubs. But if you're going to play Oliver's Twist, bidding two clubs says, um, I've got essentially no game interest anywhere, or I don't have any game interest if you've got clubs, but I might have game interest if you have something else. In other words, I've probably got a club shortage. I'm bidding two clubs on the basis that that's probably where your suit is and I'll be delighted if you bid something else potentially or it may just be that I've got nothing and I, I can't support anything at a higher level so I'm just going to bid two clubs and if you if you pass two clubs that's fine if you bid anything else I'm going to pass them The trick with Oliver's Twist is that you're always showing game interest 
in any suit that you bypass that's the critical thing Okay, let's move on swiftly to Pesky, because otherwise we're going to have no uh, no time left for any example hands. I know John's going to have a whole evening of uh, of practice on intro and stuff next tomorrow, but it'd be nice to get a few hands in. But I'll just run quickly through Pesky. It won't take long. In, in fact, intro doesn't cater at all for um, fourth in hand doubles because intro is interesting in what responder has, but responder isn't second in hand over a fourth in hand double. Some of the other wriggles for one no trump do cope better than intro with uh, fourth in hand doubles, but I think. If you're going to play intro, I would have a serious look at Pesky um, because it works the same way as intro, essentially. So opener can make certain assumptions if the bidding's gone one no trump pass pass double penalties. Opener has certain information about responder's hand already. They know that responder hasn't got a five card major, otherwise they'd have transferred into it. They know they haven't got a hand worth an invitation, a balanced invitation, otherwise they'd have made it. And it's unlikely that they've got an unbalanced hand with a six card or longer minor because they probably have transferred into that. So you'll see an immediate relationship between opener's bids over a fourth in hand double using pesky and responder's bids over a second in hand double. Ooh, hang on, I might have missed something out there. All oh, right, no, okay. <coughs> so if opener passes over a fourth in hand double, penalty double, they're either maximum or they're lower to mid range with a two suited four four three two hand. And essentially what they're asking responder to do is to redouble if they have a hand that's not far short of an invitational hand they won't have an invitational hand otherwise they'd have made the invitation but they might be not far off that and actually happy to play in one no trump redoubled on the basis that partner is maximum so if you're playing a 13 to 15 count they might have an 8 count or a 9 count. They're not worth an invitation opposite a 13 to 15 one no trump. But if they know that partner's got 15, they're quite happy to play in one no trump redouble. So they've either got that, their maximum, and they're asking partner to redouble if they've got that, 
or they've got a lower to mid range hand with any 4 4 shape, any 4 4 3 2 shape. So Responder redoubles if they're happy to play there, or Responder starts bidding immediately. If Responder redoubles, but actually Opener's got a minimum and they're not remotely interested in playing in Mono Trump redoubled. Um, but they, I mean, they might be mid range and actually decide to chance one though Trump redoubled if, if Responder's happy to play there. It's unlikely that, that if you're playing a 13 to 15 one though Trump, it's unlikely that Responder will have less than an 8 count if they redouble. Playing a 1 though Trump redoubled on a 20 to 20 hand is a little bit rich for my blood. Um, so if, if partner's got an 8 count and you sat there with 14, I'd be happy to play in 1 though Trump redoubled. So you, you might have actually intended to bid uh, over the redouble, but actually, when partner redoubles, you think, well, oh, I'll give this a go. Because partner's probably got eight or nine. You know they're unlikely to have ten, because otherwise they'd have made a, an invite over one no trump. Okay, so, so either of you can start wriggling if you're not happy with one no trump redoubled. Um, responder can start redoubling, sorry, wriggling immediately over opener's pass if they don't fancy it. And even if they do fancy it, opener can start wriggling if they don't fancy it. So the fact is, we only play in one no trump redoubled if we're both happy to play there. So again, if opener redoubles, this is a lower to mid-range hand um, but with 4-3-3-3 distribution. And again, responder has the option of passing the redouble. If they've got a maximum pass over one no trump, they might be quite happy to play in one no trump redoubled. They weren't going to move over one no trump, but they weren't seriously concerned about one no trump not making. They just don't quite have enough for an invitation. Quite happy to play one no trump redoubled. But more likely, they'll have a weaker hand. They will just bid their cheapest four card suit. An opener will pass because we found a 4 3 fit. If opener bids over the double, then this is showing a five card minor, and it won't be a five card major in, in OCP because we don't open one no trump with a five card major. If you're playing two over one or standard American, your mileage may differ there. Um, you may allow people to open one no trump with a five card major. Anyway, if, if opener bids anything, it's showing a five card suit with a lower to mid range hand, not fancying one no trump redoubled. And it's, that's just safer. And if we've missed one no trump redoubled, so be it. So hopefully you can see the immediate, the, the, Pesky mirrors what intro does with responders' initial actions over the double. Openers' actions over a fourth in hand double mirror that quite closely. So it's easy to remember if you play intro. Um, but it's totally based on opener's hand rather than responder's hand, which gives us that pass redouble sequence, which isn't available otherwise. Any questions on pesky?
okay. Four victims, please. We'll get a couple of hands in, hopefully. Actually, might try and get a few more than few more than two in because Naomi's gone to bed already. Two more, please. Come on, don't be shy. Thank you, Barry. Esther, Michael, Roger, Nuri, Mehmet, somebody. Come on, guys, please sit. I, it's no fun for me to sit and play these hands because I've because I've I set the hands and I can see all 52 cards. Yeah, well, absolutely. Nur is there. Mehmet's there. Right. Just bear with me a second, though. Oops, sorry, I crashed. Just bear with me a minute, I will be back. It's a shame. I'll be there in a minute. Just sit, guys, please. Sorry about that. Sometimes my NetBridge view client just decides to crash for no particular reason. I think, Michael, you were sitting north, weren't you? Well, somebody sits. It doesn't matter who sits. Uh, Esther beat him to it. Um, let me just think about this. Sorry, uh, uh, BBO is mucked up here. Uh, can we have three passes back down to south, please? I need south to be the opener here, not west. 
So three passes and then south opens. No, Michael, uh, sorry, Douglas. <laughs> uh, Douglas, just pass, please. Um, I need you to I need you to pass north to pass and east to pass and we'll just imagine that south is the dealer please same problem as last week BBO's putting this spurious hand in that uh, mucks up all of the dealers and vulnerabilities Yeah. Thanks, Douglas. Uh, yeah, but that doesn't help me. I've already got a prepared file of hands. Um, I didn't have time to adding loads of junk hands to. Okay. No, I haven't, Roger. Um, I'm assuming that lots of people will have reported it. Uh, lots of teachers will have reported it. Um, I will do. I'm told it's affecting the, the uh, browser client as well, Roger. I think that's what somebody said last week, so I'm sure some teachers will have reported it. Anybody who's using pre-prepared hands will be having the same problem if it's affecting the browser client as well. Right, but if it's affecting the browser client as well, um, any teacher is going to have this problem. Okay, so here we had a penalty double by West a redouble by Esther showing ooh ooh well I'd have bid three clubs or two hearts over two clubs I have to say Esther's got quite a nice 11 count opposite a 13 to 15 one no trump I would say that's worth an invitation any day of the week. But as it happens, two clubs is fine because you can't make... Oh no, you can make four spades, sorry. Okay, so... So here, Esther redoubled to show 4441... John should bid two clubs because that's his cheapest four-card suit. And Esther decided to pass two clubs. Uh, with an 11 count opposite 13 to 15, I don't think you can afford to pass two clubs. It doesn't matter if you don't end up playing somewhere else. Just because you've got a 4-4 fit in clubs doesn't mean that you won't have a four-card fit in one of the majors. So, just excuse me a minute. Go on now. Got a wimp of a Yorkshire Terrier. Um, so here, over two clubs, I feel North should bid two hearts because they've skipped two diamonds. That's showing uh, a singleton diamond, four card hearts, four card spades, and an invitational hand. Um, no, two hearts. You don't have to. You don't have to jump. If you had a singleton club, if you had a weak hand, Esther, you'd either be passing two clubs or bidding two diamonds if you got a singleton club. So that takes care of all the weak hands. So if you do anything other than passing and bidding two, two diamonds, um, it's an invitational hand. If you bid two hearts here, it's showing a singleton diamond... 
and an invitational hand. And yes, you may not get to four spades. Um, South may just bid two spades, in which case you're going to pass it, because that's refusing the invitation by, by South. But knowing that you've got a, um, you know, if if you if you give South the king, queen of clubs, and three small diamonds, now. Um, you'd almost certainly get to four spades because you've got no wasted values in diamonds and so on. Um, but I do think it's worth you issuing the invitation with two hearts rather than just passing um, two clubs. Opposite a 13 to 15, no trump. If it was a 10 to 12, one no trump, yes, you would pass. Okay. Let's try another one. Um, yes, we're okay here. Okay, so, so this is an invitational hand. And again, South won't be under any illusions here because Esther's a passed hand. Um, so, so this is showing a singleton heart. But a, a maximum pass. So they might be a 10 count. They certainly won't be 11 or they'd have opened one diamond. Okay, um, claim one, two, claim 11 tricks. Just going to lose one in each red suit, I should think. Just claim, Esther, or somebody. And again, you can see here that there is no way that East has got any points. Almost for certain. If they have, it's going to be a jack, maybe. Um... So there's no question as to where the king of clubs is, uh, king of spades. You know that West has got the ace king of hearts. You know that West has got the ace of diamonds. Um, you know. Well, again, um, North could bid two spades. Just the same. And I mean, the implication here is clearly that North has an invitational hand with a singleton heart, just the same as without the two heart bid. 
North, if North had an invitational hand um, with four card hearts, they'd probably be doubling two hearts for penalties. And it must be a penalty double. With an invitational hand. No, well, Michael just asked that, Douglas, and, and essentially, no, it wouldn't. Um, I suppose, theoretically, um, uh, not much in the way of wasted values in hearts. Um, the prospect, potentially, of finessing in spades or at least knowing if, if, say, West had the ace of spades rather than the king of spades, um, then, then uh, you know, you've got a better chance of, of catching, if you like, the ace of spades um, if you were missing, say, the ace and the jack, perhaps. Give, give North the king... you'd have a better idea of, of where all the strength is. It's much more likely that West would have the king and the jack. Um, might be missing the jack. All I'm saying is that you know, you know where all the outstanding high card points are. So that, that helps you potentially, particularly if you can take finesses through the West hand. Knowing that North's got a, almost certainly got a singleton heart um, helps South a bit. I'm not saying that South necessarily has to bid four spades here. Um, you know, if you were missing the Queen of Clubs, you'd be trying to drop it in the West Hand rather than taking a, a, a finesse that can never win. There's no way... East has got as much as a queen here. Not, un said, not unless ops are suicidal. You want to have at least the maximum range of ops's one no trump bid before you start doubling it for penalties. So if you're playing a 13 to 15 one no trump, West ought to have at least a 15 if not a 16 count before they start doubling it for penalties. Um... Doing otherwise is, is seriously asking uh, to get stomped on. So knowing that West... Thank you, John. I just said that. <laughs> on the other hand, you know that, that North won't have more than the 10 count but they're likely to have 9 or 10. Um, it's like I said, if you, if you assume that West has got a 15 or a 16 count, um, it's fairly easy to place everything. East might have a jack, but they won't have two jacks. Okay. Try one more and then I think we'll call it a miss. Right, I think it's North the dealer here, so can we have two passes? Yeah, but four 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 one is is dodgy. Um, you know, the the times when I would do that, uh, the doubler would have you know ace king queen jack to eight hearts, almost guaranteed if I did that. Um, 
There may be times when you look at all 52 cards, you think, oh, yes, I'd really like to play in one, though, Trump redoubled. But there are times when you just can't afford it. And if, you're, if Responder is unbalanced, uh, you know, there may be times when you can get into no Trumps, but you don't initially necessarily want to risk one, no Trump redoubled. Um, yeah, well... That's the advantage of playing face to face, I guess. Um, I just claim eight tricks here, Esther. East got a, a fairly reasonable double. Um... Yeah, but the trouble is, is that east, 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 west can't really go anywhere here. Um, you know, I, I think east having made the double, and it's, it's not an unreasonable double. Um, when it goes past redouble back to them, uh, they can't really afford to start running themselves. And east and west is just fixed. Um, you know, yes, they could start doing a wriggle of their own, but there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee that uh, um, you're going to hit a fit if, if west starts bidding two hearts or two spades. Um, they do hit a spade fit, but two spades is probably going off. Um... You know, you pay your money and you take your choice. Sometimes you're going to make a penalty double, fine partner with a Yarborough. Um, and Ops make a few over tricks. Tough. Okay. Anybody got any questions before we finish? Because it's ten past twelve and uh, I've got a few bits to do. Um, I don't think, I think I actually deliberately, and let me just check. Uh, that might be one. Just bear with me a second. No, that isn't. Just bear with me, I'm just looking to see if I've got... But, I mean, the thing about... 10 to 12 hands is that it's only the arithmetic that's slightly different. Um, just bear with me. That's east. No, I, I, I think I, I set all the one no trumps at 15 counts um, because then it doesn't matter if I've got people who aren't playing precision. Um, they're still going to open one no trump. So I think, if you don't mind, we'll call it a night there. Um, do come along to John's practice tomorrow, and I'm sure he'll have a whole plethora of uh, interesting uh, one no trump hands. And uh, do give Pesky a try, if you're, if, particularly if you're an OCP practitioner and you're already reasonably familiar with uh, intro. Um, do give it a try and report back in the forum if you experience any successes or or failures um, or problems in using it, uh, I'd be useful to know. Um, and if you want full details on Pesky, you will find it on the One No Trump page in the section on.